Today, we're taking you on an adventure through one of Japan's best kept secrets, Fukuoka. From breathtaking temples to vibrant shopping arcades and stunning city skyline, we'll explore hidden gems and epic views. Let's dive in! Slight change of plan. Instead of going to Hiroshima, we're going directly to Fukuoka because the train station was so crowded. And yeah, it's a Saturday, I guess everyone is going to Hiroshima or something, but it was, it was full, too packed. Full, 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 full. So today we're gonna end up directly in Fukuoka and then explore, I guess. Yeah. We're finally here in Fukuoka. It's very bright, it smells like sea, and I want some cocoa curry. Cocoa curry? Okay, I found and a place. Rhymes. I found a place, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Our obsession with coco curry is too real. Every bowl is the perfect comfort food. Warm, flavorful, and just the right amount of spice. The sad part? We won't have this once we're back in Austria. And honestly, we're already missing it. We ate our curry, and, and now, now we're we are... Don Don Quixote! And I see a lot of figures. Yeah. More to the collection! There is too much. The we need another backpack. Well, we are buying another backpack as yeah. well. That's why we're in Don Quixote. I hope they have it. We have every single type of shop in here. Every section is a different character. I love Kirby! Yeah? Walking into Don Quixote Nakasu was an experience. Imagine being surrounded by floors and floors of random quirky items you have never known you needed. I'm trying to find another backpack or check Something. yes to put all of the stuff that we have purchased. We reached we really reached the two I don't know, two additional bags. <laughs> it's honestly like a chaotic Disneyland for adults. Overwhelming, but so much fun to explore. You can get lost in all of the weird, cool, and sometimes hilarious things they sell. We could have spent hours there just taking it all in and still wouldn't have seen everything. Off the Coco Curry! Again! Third day in a row! Yeah, I mean, we, we're not gonna experience this again, so might as well. Coco Curry! I'm struggling a lot, and we took the same portion that we took yesterday. Yesterday I was able to finish it and also have a little bit of space, now I cannot. And we didn't eat breakfast, so, but it's delicious. I've spent the last 10 minutes trying to find the recipe online. Were you successful? No. Uh, oh, I'm gonna be very sad. It's delicious. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Koji Temple was such a hidden gem. At first glance, it seems like a regular temple, but inside is one of Japan's largest seated Buddha statues. The massive wooden Buddha was truly impressive. Despite being in the heart of the city, the temple felt so peaceful. wooden Buddha was amazing. A huge, huge, so many little Buddhas around as well. Like 500. 5,000, 600. 5,000? 5,600 Buddhas wow. around the big Buddha. That's wow. how big it is. Huge, huge, huge. It's surprising where people don't talk about this place. Yeah, the weather is too much. Too for big. us, for us, it's way too much. Yeah. It's so humid. It's making the heat even heatier. Also, uh, it's gonna take way longer. We public transport to get there. Oh, I saw the vanilla bus. <laughs> we don't have enough time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am tomato sun. <laughs> <laughs> well. Thank you. 
Nazreen Temple took us by surprise. We thought Kyoto's temples would be the highlight of our trip, but Nazreen was on another level. expected it is a hike to also, get to the Buddha. It took us, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes to get here with the taxi. I fell asleep. She fell asleep, I am falling asleep and now we're finding the Buddha somewhere. The Trying big, to. The big, big, sexy Buddha. Maybe it's up there. Oh, let's go. Let's see. The reclining Buddha statue was breathtaking and it's one of the largest in the world. Seeing it up close was an entirely different experience. The best part? It wasn't crowded at all. Oh my god. It's massive. Look at the size of it. It's like here and we're just teeny tiny so little big. specks. And it's so hot. It is. It's oh very hot. God. It's very exposed. We are literally close, closer to the sun because <laughs> we can feel it. It is massive though, it's so impressive mm. that the size of it is just... Yeah. I think I read something that is the largest laying mm. Buddha in the world. I mean, what's the difference between this one and the wooden one? Maybe the wooden one is half of it? Yeah, the wooden one was half of but it. But the wooden was sitting, so... Yeah, well, it's just so, massive, so, so impressive. Yeah. It was I'm so worth glad. it. Mm. Yeah. I think this is as best as we can do. There are no tripods, so we cannot use them. So you're on a ledge and we're trying not to lose the camera. So big. Yeah. Also, we are not allowed to have tattoos visible, so we're just like... Yeah, just covering <laughs> our little tattoos. <laughs> so no one gets offended. <sighs> ta -da! Ta -da -da -da! It's very cool. Thank you. Do you want to continue exploring? Yeah, yeah. Trying to find I... the toy gates? Yes, let's see what else is there. but we have amulets. Yes, now all our problems will be fixed. <laughs> we got some good luck amulets, some health amulets, some uh, uh, wish, harmony. Wish, wish come true. Yeah, yeah. Originally located in Mount Kuyasan, the temple was moved to its current location near Fukuoka in the late 1800s. It's best known for its massive reclining Buddha statue which was built in 95 to honor the temple's role in helping bring back ancient Buddhist relics from Myanmar. much bigger than we actually thought. Yeah, we try to find the exit and then we find other side quests. We've been following an old lady that she... has been praying in different spots, so... I think she knows what's up, so we're gonna follow the old lady until she shows us <laughs> the hidden gems of this place. <laughs> Nanzoi remains an important spiritual site, yet it's surprisingly off the typical tourist radar, making it a hidden gem with deep historical roots. We were able to fully enjoy the peaceful atmosphere and take our time exploring the beautiful grounds without needing to wake up at 5 in the morning. We arrived at the train station. 
we wanted to take a taxi, but apparently it's not an option. No, there is no one here. So we was able, the taxi driver was able to bring us here, but there is no taxi around. So train is the only option. Let's see, I'm excited. I love trains in general. <laughs> I love trains. I love ferries. I love trains. I love boats. Yeah. I love overview points. True. I'm a toddler. <laughs> Good job. Pat, pat, pat. This feels a lot like my neighborhood Totoro. Um, it, this looks, it's, it's rural, it's the rural part of the town. Let's put it that way. Um, oh, maybe the train maybe is coming. The train is coming. The train looks like an underground. Yeah, it's super weird. It is exactly the same style. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm grateful for the air conditioning. Yes. As we've learned on this trip, a train station in Japan is much more than just a place to catch a train, and Hakata is no different. It's a hub of shops selling everything, from trinkets to delicious food. This is definitely one thing we will miss about Asia. I found more pancho! I found more pancho! There is no, no end to the panchos. Strawberry. Frappuccino, honey. Frappuccino. It's a frappuccino. It's gonna have coffee inside. Oh, that's not good for me. I think so, at least. Is it sugar? Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Oh god. It's strawberry season. I have a drink with passion fruit. I have no idea what it is inside. I don't remember. It's very sour. Not bad though. Well, it started raining and it's a very annoying type of rain, you know? Yeah, the small one that yeah. just punctures you every two seconds. Also, we're half destroyed, almost yeah. fully destroyed, so we're just gonna head home, do some laundry and... And get ready for tomorrow. For the ferry. We need to wake up probably at five. Yay. Yay. Ending the day with the Fukuoka skyline was bittersweet. We could see all of Fukuoka laid out before us and it was just one of those moments where you realize how special a place is. But at the same time, there's that little bit of sadness knowing it's over. Fukuoka, we'll miss you. From our apartment building there is a view, which is very nice. So we came to the 13th floor, the yeah. top floor to see the view. And no tower because hey, you, you see the weather outside, so... <laughs> So yeah. it's something, it's something. It's something, it's something, it's better than nothing. And with that, it's a wrap on Japan. Yeah. I guess that's it. And see you in the next one. See you. Sadly, our Japan adventure ends here, but don't worry. We have one last epic adventure in Seoul before we officially say goodbye to our honeymoon. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll stick around for more. Subscribe. <laughs>